Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Another beautiful day here. Tourism is crazy right now for the holidays. And imagine about another week from now, we'll have all the snowbirds coming down here. We're gonna go for a walk on the beach today and show you the seaweed sargasm situation and show you what the beaches look like. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here. I'm going to circle these two hotels right here, the Hilton and the Grand Hyatt. People always ask me, why do you walk in front of those two hotels, but don't go to the other side of the pier? Well, I'm going to circle this hotel right here, the Wyndham Ultra. Uh, you're right. I'm going to go to the other side of the pier today and check out the beach. Let's go. All right, here we are, another beautiful day in Playa del Carmen. We are at the end of Avenue Constituente. People always say, why do you come out here? Well, last year, this is where we were living, so we just walked down the street two or three minutes and we had access to the beach. So that's why we normally come down this way. Last week, I did a video from the Fives all-inclusive beach resort just a, bit, a little bit north of Playa del Carmen. So I'm going to look to the right here and uh, we've got the yoga, typical yoga here. We've got the ice baths going. Now I'm a little bit later getting out here today. Usually I get out here just after sunrise. Sunrise is between 7 and 7.30 the last little while. And there is the Wyndham Ultra. Usually I go to the other side, but people always say, why don't you go over to this side of the beach? So I'm going to go over to this side of the beach here because uh, a lot of people stay here. This is a very nice hotel, 287 rooms. A lot of them have uh, really good views of uh, the beach and sunset. And uh, sunset sets to the right here, but this is sunrise. Usually I'm here at 7.30. It is 9, quarter after 9 this morning. So, uh, another beautiful day. Not a lot of clouds there. Just beautiful weather here. I'm looking down here. I don't see any seaweed or sargasm. The water's been really clean lately. And you've got some people doing some meditation uh, in the water here. They're sitting in the water. But we also have these blue ice bath buckets now usually what happens is the yoga people do their yoga and now they're sitting in here and they seem to time them i think it's five minutes they have for this ice challenge or ice bath in order to minimize the inflammation with their joints and their muscles and uh, after they do five minutes everybody claps now we've got two people here meditating this one last guy here has been in here for a while a cool place to meditate in the water and uh, so we're going to keep going. So the sun would set just over to the right there a little bit. And that's why this Wyndham Ultra is always a coveted place out on the balcony there. Look at that. There's no sargasm. But even last year when I was here, the seaweed didn't seem to kind of collect over on this side. Now, I don't know if it's because that pier goes out pretty far and the tides kind of bring it across the pier. Not sure, so look at those um, terraces right there. They look right under the beach and you can see the sunset. So they are coveted rooms right there. I'm gonna kind of go back this way. These people are gonna get out of this ice challenge. You're gonna see them put some more ice in there. People are still meditating in the water. It is a beautiful, relaxing, calming, place to wake up and come down here and be good to your body uh, get to know your body out in nature look at the clouds not too many of them and it has been perfect weather lately not too hot uh, not too cold for me that's between 23 and 26 or 7 and looking down here again that is just pure sand nice color you can lay in it you can run around in it you got some people doing so they're warming down the people in the water from being in the ice 
bath. They're going out there to move their bodies and get the blood flowing again. So they're going to pop some more ice in there. And these guys are going to get in there for, I think it's five minutes. I've timed it before. Don't hold me to that, but and if there's anybody in here that knows how long you're supposed to be in these ice baths for, let me know in order to get that full effect of what uh, is good for you. But there's all this stuff been written lately that, you know, having a cold shower after a workout or an ice bath, a lot of top end athletes are doing it and they, they swear by it. So anyways, I have not seen any seaweed around. This is the best you're gonna get this beach. The beach is clean, there's no garbage on it. They take good care of it here in Playa. It's a nice color. There's no stones, there's no rocks or shells in it that are gonna, you know, cut up your feet. So uh, they're getting in here. Ugh. A little bit of pain, but it's good for your body. And everybody just watch them and then after you're done your five minutes, everybody claps, you get out, you feel good about your day, you've had your yoga in a beautiful location. Somebody else working out there. So I'm gonna come back here. There are the swing sets there at the bar. I always like uh, that and Wyndham Ultra, if you can get there, got some friends that are staying there right now. There's the Bali beds and this is a coveted place here because you're not kind of with the, the Hyatt and the Hilton over here. Now the Hyatt and the Hilton, I'm gonna just come over to this side of the pier and the reason I'm coming over here because as I said, there seems to be more seaweed or sargassum on this side. I don't know why, I'm surmising. I think it's because of that pier. There might be a tides coming kind of across it and as a result, the pier is stopping the seaweed and it doesn't make it over to that side in front of the Wyndham Ultra. I don't know. There's a couple people, they've obviously been working this morning. There's all their rakes and all their stuff. And there is the wheelbarrow, not full, but we got a little pile or something there. That looks like seaweed. So I'm not really sure, have they already been cleaning it up? Like I said, I usually come out at 7.30. This is 9.15ish. I'm gonna go out to the walk out to the water and see if I see any seaweed. There was no seaweed on the other side. These are the workers right here. This guy driving this ATV is in charge. So um, you see these white shirts and when they're on the beach here, they're working. So dropping somebody off. But I'm gonna get out to the water here. I don't wanna keep you too much longer. I wanna see if there is any seaweed. And like I said, usually if there is seaweed, it's on this side of the pier. There was no seaweed on the other side. And even last year, when there was seaweed on this side, there wasn't as much on the other side. I guess that's good news for the Wyndham Ultra people. So I am looking down here. I don't see much. I don't see anything on the beach. Maybe that's because they cleaned it up but I'm gonna look into the water here. And I think I do see a little, yep, I do see some seaweed. This was not here a couple weeks ago when I was here. Last week I was up at the, the Fives, all-inclusive beach resort up there, but they've got barriers up there and I saw no seaweed. But now that I'm looking here, I can see it. It's not on the beach, but it's in the water. There it is, it is coming up. So this is definitely more than I saw two weeks ago when I did a video here. Yes, there is, there is a little bit of seaweed in here. Nothing to really be worried about, but there, there is seaweed, however minimal, I can see it in the water. Uh, yeah, I guess you can see it in the water there too. It's not much. It's not anything to be upset about, but if you were, I'm just saying, is this a telltale sign that it's coming earlier this year? Last year it came February 15th, February 18th, and then it was just crazy. By the end of February and into March, it was horrible. We are getting into January. Last year they told me the sargasm was gonna start April 1st. It started February 15th. I hope it doesn't start any earlier than that. That's all I gotta say. But that wheelbarrow there, is that foreshadowing? I'm gonna be back next Saturday. Hopefully you're back with me and I'll be keeping an eye on this. I'm gonna say, 
Ciao for now, and I'll see you next Saturday.